uh, a, a wild game, uh, you know, end to end. Uh, you know, I thought we started the game well in the first 20, 25 minutes. I thought we're, we're good. Um, we get the goal. Um, they came at us a little bit. Piatti started to find some space in between our, our midfield and, and, and back line. Um, obviously, he's a special player um, to see him now. Uh, in it, in our first first game against them, uh, very very good. Um, you know he gets the goal for them, um, kind of from nothing. I think it was the first shot they had on goal. Um, we get a little bit of momentum and, and and push the game a little bit at the end of the half, go into halftime, and you know talk about pressing the game in a, in a smart way and, and continuing to push. Um, you know, disappointing to give up the second goal. It was a, a mistake. Um, Mo made a mistake, uh, and Jack punished us for it. Uh, you know, in moments when that happens, you're hoping maybe Richie can bail you out, or Brian can maybe make a big save for you. Uh, but credit to our guys; they fought hard. Uh, they they pushed to got the uh, the tying goal, and then you know we go up a man, and it seems like we have all the all the momentum in the world, and uh, kind of a roller coaster of a night for uh, for Ayuk, a young player who uh, hopefully will learn from this. Uh, you know, a tough tough tackle to take his his first yellow card is not a yellow card so I think that that put him in a bad spot um but when you know you have a yellow you kind of can't leave your feet like that and, and put it in the referee's hand so difficult um you know drop two points tonight uh and disappointed in that regard yeah yeah there were some obviously some great moments you know the the goal um you know we thought that that was a matchup um, we could have him go at, at, at their outside backs uh, on the night. Um, he did that to a certain degree. Um, and then, you know, unfortunate for him. Again, I, I, the first yellow is a one where he gets the ball first. It's actually almost like he's passing it backwards, and the, and the follow through is a little um, – they sell it pretty well, um, but it's not a foul, let alone a yellow card. Um, so, again, he's got to be smart playing on a yellow card. Uh I thought we had all the momentum at that stage once we tied it up um, and had it would have had uh, you know about 20 minutes or so to, to, to really press the game and, and create chances, which we were doing all night. I saw the stat they had 38 clearances uh, inside the 18. So again, you know, uh, difficult that we didn't get the goal, but uh, at the same time we we dodged a bullet or two uh, in the end there too. They could have stole it. So it looked like there was a lot of uh, back and forth with your guys in the ref. Do you feel like? That your guys were a little, uh, a little overly eager to get in his face and try and win those free kicks and, and, and took them out of their game. Yeah, I mean, he, all you want is is, uh, is consistency, and uh, there was there was some moments where uh, I think our guys thought that they were getting fouled and and we didn't get calls. You know, it's it's oh, it's never the big major ones. They usually get those right. It's the little. You know, where a guy gets a piece of a guy after the play, you know, could it be yellow? Could he set the tone earlier? Um, there was a few of those, I thought, earlier when uh, Ayango gets Ayuk, for instance, in the beginning of the game, you know, would let it go, which is fine if, if, it's gonna, if that's the way it's going to be the whole game. Then the cards started to come out, and now you're playing a game that, you know, no teams really like playing down, down, down a man. And to finish um, the way we did, it's not really the best um, with, with – shorthanded both teams being shorthanded so you know uh, uh, refereeing is tough in this league it's a tough league to ref uh that's for sure um our guys you know you know they're competitors so again they're going to get on the referee and try and get every little advantage they can montreal did the same thing so you know uh at, at the end of the day it's 2-2 we both walk out here with a point and uh you know be, have a, having it being on our home field where uh we're disappointed it wasn't three right yeah, right uh, with conditions the way they were do you yeah do you just burn the tape no, I mean I still think that there's there's a lot of moments to learn from and in in uh and some good plays. There was some some good build up from our uh, attacking guys, some decent defensive performances from guys. Was it the conditions is crazy? Yeah, absolutely. Down on the field uh it might not look like it up high, but uh the wind was uh incredibly strong in the first half. It kind of faded in the second half. Um it was it was in our face in the first half. Uh we didn't really get a chance to go with it cuz it kind of the weather changed a bit, but it was uh Certainly a strange game uh, in terms of weather, all things, yellow, red cards, yellow cards, uh, goals down a man, uh, us, us coming back and thinking we we're going to you know, 
be able to put the the nail in the coffin and then having a guy sent off. So wild one. Um, there are still good learning points from the game. Um, so we will definitely look at the tape. Uh, but it was again, you're right on. You're right on when you say it was a, a strange one to say the least. Jim, I'm sure you played in games like this. Mm-hmm. And when the wind's whipping or changes, do you have to change things on the fly based on conditions out? Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, you know, you prepare for things to be one way. For instance, you know, we we started um, Zach and and Ayuk wide because we thought it would be a game where we they would sit in and we'd have a lot of possession. Um, it kind of we scored the early goal, so that kind of gets thrown out the window as well. Um, the conditions are a little crazy, and it became more of a you know, roll your sleeves up and organize fighting kind of than, than, than soccer. There were moments of good soccer by both teams for sure, but, you know, the field isn't in the best condition uh, as it is. And then the the weather on top of it, so there was – you saw a lot of balls out of bounds, you know. So uh, it became more of a, a fight. Uh, both teams competed like crazy. Um, do you wish we had – the ability to get on a couple of those balls in the box where Zach has a good look, uh, just kind of skips across. I don't know if, if he was just wrong-footed or what. Mo had a few where they kind of just glanced by him. CJ was in there. Shannon put a few good balls in that we just didn't get on the end of. So it was a challenging night in that regard. And credit to Montreal, too. They they, they made some uh, good good clearances and, and good blocks in the box at the last second. You know, we give up three shots on goal tonight. Um, I, and it, it, it's a it's a reoccurring theme where we, for whatever reason, that the chances we give up are critical chances, and, and we need to do a better job of, you know, making teams really earn their goals. Um, so that was disappointing in that regard. But again, the guys did show fight um, to to get out with a, a tie. Adam, is it frustrating to play against a team that you're separated in the standings by one point, yet they have five games in hand on you? It's unique, uh, you know. All the, the the farm people that make comments on our league that I, I I'm in touch with will say what you know they're confused by the fact that some teams play three more games, four more games, five in some cases than than other teams. Um, obviously, it all evens out by the end of the year, but um, the table is strange. Uh, it doesn't really tell the true story. You don't even need to to look at it until the end of the year. That's when it only time it matters. Uh, do you wish everybody could be at least within a game or two of each other? Yeah, that would be ideal, but. Um, this country the scheduling is is a little different than others. You know, some teams share fields, um, so then there's different things that go on the, that that kind of affect it and make the, the, the difficulty of scheduling. Obviously, Montreal's a unique one because they they made that run in the Champions League. Uh, if I looked ahead at their schedule because there was the possibility of this game maybe you know not going on and they wouldn't have been able to do it with the uh, Open Cup on Tuesday. They wouldn't have been able to reschedule for tomorrow. So. We started to look ahead, and you look at their schedule down the stretch, and it's uh, it's crazy. It's Saturday, Wednesday, the whole way uh, through September, October. Um, so it would have been interesting to. Have, uh, I was actually hopeful to to maybe put it in there on them at the end of the year if if, if the game wasn't able to be played. But uh, you know that's the past, and uh, you know we we move on. We take the point. But uh, yeah, the scheduling thing is a uh, it's a unique one to our league for sure. Yeah. For most of the year, Maurice has been very solid for you mm-hmm. in the back line, but mm-hmm. sort of starting with LA. He's been taking a lot of chances, mm-hmm. a lot of risks that haven't been paying off in the back and made yeah. a lot of mistakes. What what's changed in his game that you've seen? Right. And have you have you changed something for him? Right. Well, yeah. I mean, first and foremost, Mo's been our our best player this year, I would say. Um, but yeah, there has been, uh, you know, the LA game. I did talk to him about that one. Um, I think he he was eager to make a play there. Whether you know his. He's got family there. It's his hometown. He maybe pushed a little bit too far, and, and L.A. did a good job lulling us into coming forward. Um, and uh, you know, in this game, he, he had a mistake in the in the you know on the first goal. I, I think he could do better uh, moving his feet. Piotti makes a great play, but that's a play I've seen Mo make um, and, and getting a block there. Um, but yeah, you know, he's had a, a little bit of a dip, but I know he he's a great player and he'll he'll bounce back. You know, he, he made a mistake on the second goal. Um, again, everybody makes mistakes. You need your teammates sometimes to bail you out in those in those spots. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, we'll look at the tape and, and we'll get some things corrected. Last two, Matt Scott. Does uh, with Mo does it give you a little bit of solace to come back against that goal like that? Yeah, the game's funny that way. You know, um, similar to you know, even though he missed the PK the game before, I think he pushed uh, and. And stayed with things and and did a good job in the Seattle game. It kind of was a big wake up for him. And then you know for him to to bail us out with the the goal at the end, I think it was a great shot from distance too. Um, critical to keep on target on a wet day. And uh, 
did a good job following it up. I was terrified they were going to call off sides for it or, or something, you know, go wrong. But uh, it was a uh, good play for him. Good to, to rebound that way and, uh, you know, get us a, a point out of it. I, hope, I wish Richie's, I haven't seen that one yet, but uh, I think it was off sides. Guys, help me. Was it off? Richie on the header. It's close. Okay. Uh, Sometimes goal scoring for him has sort of, sort of overshadowed the rest of his play. So how important has his uh, back to the goal yeah. hold up and creativity out of the target striker role been for the team? Yeah, he's been uh, been excellent. His ability, you know, even at the end of the game in the 90th minute to hold up some balls with Saman hanging off his back and him kind of being able to brush him aside. And by the way, Simon's one of the best center backs in this league. He is he's special. Um it's again another time to to see him see him live. Uh he was impressive. So but CJ did a great job battling all day. He has this way of, of, of wrong footing defenders. It's uh, unorthodox, but he bounces off and he always comes out with the ball. But his hold up play has been excellent. It, it allows our team to move forward. Um uh, good runs in the box today, just a little bit. Uh the service was just a little bit off. I think there was three or four where he's doing everything he can to get on the end of it and slide at the last second and uh, just came up a, a little bit short today. But uh, you have to give him full credit for you know putting the team offensive load on his back for these past few games and uh, doing it 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes when we have some, some serious injury problems to our, our, our strikers. Uh, he's done a great job.